all been enjoying all the sessions and the great speakers as much as I have. Um, and I hope you'll enjoy as well a little of what I have planned to talk about today about AI, specifically in regards to the current and future state of loyalty and promotions. So a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Amy and I work for a company called Voucherify. So Voucherify is a headless loyalty and promotions engine. Ultimately what this means is that we can provide customers with loyalty programs, referral programs, digital gift cards, um, automatic in-cart promotions, and coupon codes. And we can integrate pretty much anywhere and everywhere on a website, on your mobile application, on an in-store point of sale, and for our customers who have an omni-channel loyalty experience that's interconnected, all of the above. Uh, myself personally, I've been in the composable commerce space for about the last five years um, on both the uh, product side and the systems integrator side. Um, I've been in healthcare tech before that, so obviously over the last kind of 10 years I've seen a lot of changes uh, in loyalty, in commerce, and obviously how tech can and will support that in the future that I'll speak to today. So just a little bit about what I plan to cover, um, touch a little bit on kind of what I've seen working at a loyalty company on the current state of customer loyalty um, and where there's kind of a gap um, and a lot of kind of lackluster loyalty programs out there. From that, I'll talk a little bit about how AI can turbocharge loyalty so and how it can help us kind of bridge these gaps to make loyalty programs really live up to their full potential for customers and for brands. Um, and then we'll end with a little bit on kind of what we've been considering and some of our roadmap plans for AI with Voucherify specifically. So in terms of the current state of loyalty programs, uh, loyalty is no longer monogamous. So what we mean there is that, you know, as a customer, you don't have one brand that you're committed to and it's your one-stop shop and you'll only shop there. On average, customers have about 16 loyalty programs per person that are, they're a part of. I'm sure all of you can think of a number that you are a part of, um, but really are only kind of actively using about half of those. Now, we know loyalty programs are everywhere, right? 90% of brands at this point offer some sort of a rewards program, but most of them are kind of, you know, cookie cutter, right? They're not really thinking about their unique customers, their unique brand, and how they should be positioning their program rewards and incentives. So we have a little bit of a quantity versus quality program problem here that AI can potentially help us solve. And that quality problem is an issue. You know, 80% of customers are willing to switch brands if they're not getting what they need from the, a brand that they're previously loyal to. And in the world of e-commerce, customers have so many options out there that you really need to get it right. But I don't want to kind of set the stage on a negative note here. I think we can flip this around to say that although a poor loyalty experience can cause churn, there's really a lot of opportunity of the good that a really great loyalty program can do. So how can AI kind of turbocharge this and have us moving away from kind of those lackluster, cookie cutter, same old, same old, one size fits all loyalty programs? Well, there's a few di different types of ways and AI can help loyalty programs for the end customer. So giving them the offers, the rewards, the incentives that they're after. It can help the brand by really finding that sweet spot of increasing sales and customer loyalty while protecting margins. And it can also help the ones who are actually building the program. So the marketers, the developers that actually have to bring this program to life and put it in front of customers. So we're looking at things like personalization, right? So AI can help guide us on the type of incentives, earning rules, structure that a loyalty program should have based on the customer, the brand, the selling profile, the goals of the vendor, if they're B2C or B2B. We can also take it one level deeper. Even within one program, AI can help us get even more specific for personalized incentives and offers for segments or individual groups of customers. And it can make sure that we're targeting these promotions and incentives to the right customer at the right time in the right context. 
So all of this can also help us prevent churn. So with AI, we can look at where we've kind of gone awry in the past with loyalty programs and look for those kind of proactive indicators that customers are about to churn and nip that in the bud ahead of time, being a little bit more proactive rather than reactive. So that's an example of data points from past experiences, past actions that AI can kind of calculate to advise us in the future, which will be a bit of a theme that I'm talking about today. We have a note here as well on AI increasing lifetime value of customers. And this is kind of an interesting one because this doesn't even have to be promotion specific. This can let you know actually when there's a customer that is kind of giving indications that they would pay full price for this type of item based on past behavior, based on their profile. So it can help you even outside of promotions or discounts, kind of put the right offer in front of the right person at the right price at the right time. So those are a little bit more of the exciting use cases, a little bit on the less glamorous side, but I think still very exciting personally, are where uh, AI can kind of help with the grunt work, right? So reducing your OPEX time and costs, relieving developer work. So that's something I'll be talking about that Voucherify is very focused on, how we can help developers get programs live faster and free up marketers so they can build kind of the personalized, more complex programs that they can dream up without having to rely on long developer time. And lastly, AI can help reduce fraud. So obviously, as you can imagine, this is a huge problem in loyalty and promotions. It costs companies a ton of money every year. And AI can, again, be a little bit proactive in identifying those indicators of suspicious activity and just like churn, kind of nipping that in the bud ahead of time rather than retroactively seeing that we have an issue. So again, kind of the crux of what AI does, does for us is it takes learned behavior from customer activity, previous engagement with promotions, promotion performance, and ultimately it uses that from what we've learned in the past to predict the future. So predictive loyalty can be a method of using AI models to target and engage the right type of customers with the right type of loyalty call to action, again, at the right time. Be that even just asking them to sign up for the program, refer a friend, ask them to share first party data through surveys or quizzes. It's very important to know that you're targeting the right kind of call to action to the right customer to make sure that we're not wasting our time at best or really annoying our customers at worst. So the four pillars then of where AI can help us in the loyalty space are personalization, optimization, automation, and enablement. So I'll talk a little bit more about each of these four on the coming slides. Personalization. So obviously this has been a topic that a lot of my peers here have been mentioning as well. Personalization in and of itself is not a new concept, right? This is something that marketers have been going after for the last five plus 10 years. But there are differences in how we work with personalization and how it can work for us pre-IA and post-IA. So pre-IA, when we're looking at targeting customers for promotions, offers, loyalty schemes, all of that segmentation, the triggers of when to send which offers and to who, the promotions themselves, those were all defined manually. So, you know, based on past data points, based on kind of hunches, but educated guesses of the marketing team, and it was very much kind of a test and learn experience, throw some things at the wall to see what kind of sticks. Um, and then once the plan was in place, all of those promotions and that experience needed to be manually built as well, right? So if we wanna have 20 different versions of this offer that we're giving to 20 customer segments, we need to define those segments, we need to build the promotions, we need to build the content, the marketing surrounding these promotions, and then we need to set up those triggers. So post AI, it can do a lot of that work for us. So AI can aggregate based on data we've captured on prior behavior, on prior engagement um, with different promotions and offers. It can segment customers into groups on its own. It can tell you what sort of triggers should be in place for these customer segments and what types of promotions, at what scale and level of discount they should be sent and do all of that automatically. 
On top of that, with generative AI, AI can now actually build all of that for us as well. So it can be building out these customer segments. It can be building out this content. It can even be building out the promotions and the discount level automatically as well. So moving on to automation and optimization. Um, automation, so this is definitely a topic a lot of others have been um, speaking on today quite a bit as well. Um, and this is where we can leverage AI to take over all of those repetitive or those automated tasks. So, you know, I know a lot of people get a little bit you know, leery of AI at times, right? Is this going to kind of take over all our jobs and everything we do? And hey, that's a fair concern, but I think there's a real beauty to that in that it can take away a lot of the grunt work and the monotonous tasks, and it can leave the humans to actually focus on points of interest and what matter. So, you know, examples of that, again, being the AI chatbots, as a lot of my peers here have mentioned. Now, the optimization, I think, is the really interesting bit, and this is definitely where I've been seeing kind of the most hot interest lately in the loyalty space of what kind of the groups and companies that I work for are looking for in a loyalty engine. So they want to make sure that they're optimizing their price points, they're optimizing their promotions, so that they're really finding that sweet spot of the level of discount that's gonna give them the greatest amount of sales at the lowest discount, so they're not actually hurting their margins there. And knowing what type of pricing to present to what groups of customers for which types of products. Now, the enablement side, this is where kind of AI and humans work together. Um, and this is where Voucherify has been really focused in our AI efforts. And that's enablement specifically on the development side of things. So working on kind of AI buddies, developer builders that can help you go, to go to live fast, go launch faster, go live faster. I'm mixing up all my words here. It can help you out there so that, you know, customers can start making money faster. You're not wasting your development time. And again, you can kind of get to what's important. And we have some kind of current state enablement um, kind of tool toolkit uh, pieces, if you will, that Voucherify provides live of which that kind of AI de uh, development buddy is going to soon be a new piece. So Voucherify currently provides a free public trial, so anyone can check out Voucherify. Our API references, our SDKs, our sandbox, it's all live, fully free to play around with, along with code samples, um, open source connectors. So all of this, again, makes it really easy for developers to kind of play around, get a head start on working with Voucherify. Again, with all of this being open source, open source code, Git repositories, API reference guides, that actually makes Voucherify very crawlable for AI as well um, to actually build out proof of concepts of our platform relatively quickly without a ton of active developer involvement. Now, we are um, members of the Mock Alliance. We're very um, focused on composable commerce, which for those of you who aren't familiar, um, is basically a best of breed tactic where we believe in compiling a bunch of microservices together that are all specialized in their own role. And based on that, you know, Voucherify, we do loyalty really well. We do promotions, referrals, coupons, all of that very, very well. We're not really trying to be the best at everything just yet. So, you know, we have a very open um, platform for two-way integrations where we can work with what may be some more advanced optimization platforms to make recommendations and guidance on our promotions. So Voucherify as a tool has a lot of really, really rich data, again, on customer behavior, on previous promotion performance, how these two have played together, that can be easily sent out to these types of optimizers, aggregators, that can make decisions and recommendations based on this and feed that back into Voucherify to determine the segments, the promotions, the type of loyalty scheme and structure and offers that should be used moving forward. Um, so I'll wrap then just with a few notes on kind of Voucherify specifically and what we're looking at in the future with AI. Um, so I'll start with just some notes on how we're kind of evaluating potential AI features. So we've been a little bit cautious, obviously, with everything moving so fast in the AI space at this time. We really wanted to make sure that we weren't jumping in too early and we were being very cautious and considerate with how we were going to invest here. 
So first and foremost, we're looking at the customer needs, right? Is this going to fulfill a customer need or is this something flashy and cool for the sake of being flashy and cool? Um, you know, we need to be realistic. Do we have the resources to build this? Is this where we should be putting our time? Um, and the impact, right? So is this gonna have a tangible business impact for our customers um, and for our internal development teams as well? Um, and then lastly, we're looking at the ability to expand. So we wanna make sure that wherever we're investing in AI isn't gonna be a short-lived trend or kind of a dead-end street. Um, and this is something that will open the door to be able to scale in the future, however AI takes us. So those future ideas here, I've pretty much teased all of these already today. These are kind of um, where Vercherify is starting to look and experiment. The first one that I don't have explicitly called up here, again, being that kind of developer aid um, that can help get you live and integrated at part at the point of sale in your mobile application much quicker. Um, but we are looking at that AI-powered segmentation. So again, based on past um, indicators, letting you know what customers should be grouped in which manner, should be in what type of loyalty tier, should be incentivized with which type of offers, which is where those promo recommendations come in. So again, we're not just throwing all our promotions at everyone, we're being very strategic through AI at who we're sending which promotions to, at which discount effect for which products, um, and which other, other incentives will really resonate with that group. Um, we're looking at the AI assistance in terms of um, pricing optimization, as I mentioned as well. So having um, another little AI buddy that can do a bit of an evaluation of past campaign performance, kind of the ratio of where the sales came in versus how much was discounted. And that's something that we track, of course, in Vocherify right now, total sales brought in by referrals, by promotions versus the discounted amount. So you can kind of see that margin gap. The AI assistant can help you find where that sweet spot is. Um, and then we're also looking at a deep integration with uh, AI CMS. So obviously to be able to present, you know, incentives, earning rules to customers, um, we need to have the content visible and displayed to them. Um, and so working with AI here can help generate all of that automatically, quicker, um, and also in terms of accessibility, right? So making sure that the content is accessible, making sure that the content displaying the promotions, the terms and conditions is, you know, sent and created in the appropriate language for where it's being displayed without needing kind of that manual translation and transcription efforts.